Good morning everyone, I am Ajit Kumar Misra and as we all know that today is our presentation, so my topic is Klebsiella pneumoniae. So first of all, I am going to introduce my topic. Klebsiella pneumoniae is a gram-negative gram -negative bacilli, it is a capsulated, non-motile and non-sporing bacilli and <coughs> produce, it produces pink mucoid uh, colonies and now we are going to classify Klebsiella pneumoniae. It is mainly, it is broadly classified into two groups that is K pneumonia and K oxytosa in which K pneumonia is important for us. So now we are going, we are going to elaborate capsula pneumonia. So morphology, it is a short gram negative bacilli and it is capsulated non-motile and non-bacilli, non-motile and non-sporing bacteria and its size is 1 to, one to 2 into 0. 5 to 0 0.8 micrometer and now we are going to discuss about culture. So uh, temperature required is uh, 37 degree centigrade and pH is 7.4 incubation time is 18 to 24 hours. And uh, we use culture media as a McConkey agar and colonies are mainly large mucoid colonies and its color is pink and the muco mucoid color is due to capsular material present in it. And now we are going to discuss, discuss about its uh, biochemical reaction. So mainly uh, two things is positive, indole and MR is positive, sorry, indole and MR is negative in this and lactose, mentol and citrate, urease and VP is negative. And now we are going to discuss about antigenic structure. So in this two type of capsular antigen is present. First is capsular K antigen in which 1 to 80 serotype is present, in which 0 to 6 is for human respiratory tract infection and second is somatic O antigen, in which 0 to 5 somatic antigen is present, in which 1, 3, 4 and 5 is present in uh, E. coli also. And now about pathogenesis. So mainly uh, 4, to 5 disease, uh, 4 to 5 diseases are caused by Klebsiella pneumonia which is bronchopneumonia, UTI infection, nosophomial infection, wound infection, septicemia which is also known as hospital infection, meningitis and sometimes diarrhea is, diarrhea is also seen. And now the last topic is, la, second last is laboratory diagnosis. And in laboratory diagnosis we use culture media as a blood agar or McConkey agar. And staining we use gram staining for uh, and mainly in gram staining we, uh, we see its motility. And the next is treatment.